I am back for a video with my sister and today I am going to show you how to get these braids right here and I actually did film this video but it looked terrible you couldn't see a thing that I was doing so I'm going to use my sister as my model today and I'm just going to show you how to get these Dutch braid kind of things they're so in at the moment like everyone has been wearing it so if you want to know how to get these Dutch braids then just keep on watching first thing that you want to do is brush the hair out and by the way, first, first start from the ends. Please mind my sister, I don't know what the hell she's doing. So yeah. just really make sure that you don't have any knots. Look <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> oh my god. Ew, that was nasty. Wow. <laughs> have you tried <Wow>. Wow. <laughs> my words are big. Wait, take a picture of that, show it. <laughs> That's some big old oh, head head. strong. So you want to brush your hair back like this. And what I like to do is just take my middle from the nose. Take my middle. the middle. Take my middle. Use my nerve to that. <laughs> so I just like to go like this with my finger. You can use a fine tooth comb if you want. You want to make a straight line all the way to the back. So that's straight enough for me. If you want to fix it, you can also always use like a fine tooth comb and fix it up if you want it more straight. But this is straight enough for me. Do you have a hairband? Then I'm just going to use a hairband like this. Just a oh, oh crap! What are you doing? So then I'm just going to tie the other side up so that it doesn't get in the way. Okay, now for the fun part. So again, make sure it's always brushed out. So the first thing that you want to do is grab a triangle, like so. Like this. And you want to... And you want to split this into three parts. Like this. And grab it. Just make a simple braid with it. Okay, so then, the one that's here, you want to take a section with it and then put, grab that under. Then you want to do the same with this section, so you want to grab a section from here. So basically what I like to do is just take my finger and put it under the middle section, grab a section for the side. I'm really bad at explaining these type of things. So then I'm just doing the same thing. So for the side section, just want to gra grab it a bit from the side. Put your finger under. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see what I'm doing than me rather than explaining it. Because the way that I do it is so like, I can't do it in a way where I can like show clearly. So hopefully just by looking you can see exactly what I'm doing. So basically you've got three parts here, what I like to do is take my finger, grab the side one over here and with that I grab a section. And you always want to pull tight as well. And I always let go of the, I always let go of the middle one. Then you want to grab another section, take it with your index, is this called the index finger? So this is my index finger. Whenever your index finger is there, you want to grab it with, like you want to grab more sections with it. So that's the middle section. You now want to bring the middle section under that one, grab the far end one. And then again, my, middle, my index finger is there again. You want to grab another section. Again, my, mid my index finger is there, and I'm just going to grab another section, bring it under the middle one, and then with my index finger here, you're going to grab the far end one. So again, that's the middle section, my index finger is there, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab another bit from the side. And grab it with my index finger again and bring it under the middle one. 
So now the one that I just bought in is now the middle section and I'm going to grab the other one and there again my index finger and then you want to grab more parts with that and bring it with your index finger. I hope I'm making sense right now. And bring it under the middle one. So now I'm just going to do it and let you guys watch what I'm doing. While you're braiding your hair out, make sure you do it tight so it makes like a chunky braid. So then I just tie the end with a simple hairband and then what I like to do is kind of stretch the braid out. Okay, so I did kind of make the braid big here but that's what you do basically. Kind of model. So I'm going to do the other side and I will fast forward and hopefully you can understand better just by watching it like me doing it like constant like without me stopping. So that's how you get those Dutch braids. Uh, mine come out because I had to use my elastic for her hair. But I really hope that this video was informative and that you could have seen clearly what I was doing. My other video was so crap, it was just not even worth putting it up. So hopefully you can, you've can you learned how to do these braids. Um, thank you so much for watching and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did find it helpful. Subscribe for more videos and yeah, until next time I will see you then. Bye!